So by the end of the last video, we had our story improved a little bit uh, for handling some interaction, right? We looked at how to use a variable, in this case a variable called name, that we add in here so that we can ask the question, what is your name? We can store their answer in that variable called name. And then we can use the join uh, block, the join operator, to join together their answer with some text and produce customized statements like Ben and Jill went up the hill or Mark and Jill went up the hill and that works pretty well for the most part although my guess is that several of you have discovered that I have a, a problem with this story so let's look at that problem because not all of you may have seen this I did this before with my name with Ben but what happens if I use my wife's name right so Amy the story of Amy and Jill so Mother Goose starts, Amy and Jill went up the hill, and that's a good start, but, but you notice, well, wait a minute, I, I have a, a, a boy here. This should be, you know, Amy fetching a pail of water, and this is Jill. And then this says, Amy fell down and broke his crown. Well, that's a problem. I mean, you know, Amy's not a him. She's not a his. So we need to be able to add in a way to modify this story. We need to have a way to come down here, and I'm going to make a little room so we can see this. Right? We need to be able to come down here where I say Ben fell down and broke his crown and sometimes I want to be able to say Ben fell down and broke his crown but other times I might want to be able to say you know, Amy fell down and broke her crown and so the problem is that we, we have to be able to select between multiple actions now. Up until now we've always done sort of the same thing no matter what got given to us but now we want to be able to select between multiple paths of execution of this program. And so we need to look at a new programming feature that we haven't looked at and how that's done in Scratch. And that's the idea of a selection statement. So in summary, in this video, we've motivated the need for some idea of selection when we're writing code, the ability to pick from multiple paths of action. What we'll look at in our next lesson is how we actually do that in Scratch through the use of a selection statement.